Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is a paper discussion video, so get ready with this paper, and let's go through the questions and answers together. The maximum resolution of a light microscope using a natural light source is 200 nanometer. Anything smaller than this size cannot be seen. The resolution of a microscope is half of the wavelength used. B is the only option larger than the minimum size to be visible under the light microscope. This is a centrio. It is made up of nine circularly arranged triplet microtubules. These microtubules are made up of a protein called tubulin. The cytoplasm of a cell contains mRNA for translation at the ribosomes. Lysosomes only contain hydrolytic enzymes. Mitochondria have circular DNA and mRNA produced by transcription. Mitochondria have circular DNA and 70S ribosomes. Prokaryotes do not have endoplasmic reticulum, so this is incorrect. All prokaryotes have a cell wall, which is not found in the mitochondria. DNA and RNA are polynucleotides. All of them must have at least one type of it as the genetic material. They have polypeptides, as all of them contain some kind of proteins, such as capsids in viruses, and proteins in the cell surface membrane of prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Having polysaccharides is not a feature of viruses. Bacterial cell, chloroplast, and mitochondrion have circular DNA, which has no ends. So, there is no telomere. In the test of non-reducing sugar, the mixture of sample and hydrochloric acid is heated. Then, it is heated again for Benedict test. Statement 1 is wrong as a cellulose molecule does not coil. 2 is correct. These hydrogen bonds hold the molecules together, forming microfibules. Being insoluble in water makes it suitable to be a structure of polysaccharides, as it has a good stability in the presence of water. Triglycerides are non-polar due to the long hydrocarbon chains in their fatty acid tails. This causes them to be insoluble in water, but soluble in organic solvents such as alcohol. According to the diagram, O is unsaturated due to the presence of a carbon-carbon double bond. P and S are both saturated. A is wrong because POP would have one unsaturated fatty acid tail, not two. B is incorrect because P has two carbons less than the others, so POS should have more carbons than POP. C is the correct answer. D is wrong because fatty acids join to glycerol by condensation, not hydrolysis. Hemoglobin and collagen are proteins. They are made up of numerous amino acids. Each amino acid has a C double bond O near the carboxyl end, so they both have many double bonds. Unsaturated fatty acids have at least one carbon-carbon double bond in the hydrocarbon chain. There are three carbon double bond O at the three ester bonds, so there should be at least four double bonds as well. The top and the bottom parts are the amino and carboxy groups of the amino acid. On the left, there is a hydrogen attached to the central carbon. On the right, we have the R group. The first interaction occurs between a hydrogen and an oxygen. It is a hydrogen bond. Interaction 2 involves 2 sulfur, so it is the disulfide bond. The disulfide bond is a type of covalent bond. 3 occurs between 2 charged R groups. It is an ionic bond. The antimicrobial protein is broken down by the enzyme because it has a complementary shape with its active site. When an amino acid in the protein is changed, its primary structure is altered. This leads to a change in the R-group interaction and the tertiary structure. When it does not have the same shape anymore, it can no longer bind to the active site of the enzyme and is unable to induce the enzyme to fit with it, causing the reaction. So, all the statements are correct. To find the Km, we need to determine the half of Vmax, which is L. Then, interpolate using the point and project the line to the x-axis. This will show us the concentration of subject that gives half Vmax. It is Km and is represented by K. If enzyme Z is inhibited, intermediate 1 would increase as the subject would be continuously converted to 1 by enzyme W. The end product would decrease as its formation from intermediate tree slows down. 
Cholesterol is generally hydrophobic. It is found between phospholipids as it interacts mostly with the fatty acid tails. The carbohydrate chain of both glycoproteins and glycolipids are usually on the outer surface of the membrane as they play vital roles in cell recognition, cell signaling, and maintaining the stability of the cell membrane. Both endocytosis and exocytosis occur according to the needs of the cells. It is independent of the concentration gradient. A is wrong as simple diffusion does not require any specific transport protein. B is correct. It is a passive process that does not require energy. C is wrong because simple diffusion is the net movement of a substance down its concentration gradient. It is not necessarily across a membrane. D is wrong for the same reason as C. Diffusion can occur in the air or in a beaker of water. It is not exclusive to cells. Cell X has no net movement of water by osmosis. Cell Y has a net entrance of water, while cell Z lost water and is plasmalized. One is correct. The sugar solution has a higher water potential, causing water to move into the cell by osmosis down the water potential gradient. Two is correct. 10% sugar solution is very concentrated and has a low water potential, causing the cell to lose water by osmosis. 3 is correct as well. Cell Z has a higher water potential than the sugar solution. A stem cell can divide by mitosis to increase its number. Some of the cells can undergo the differentiation process to form specialized cells. It cannot repair damaged cells as cell repair refers to the DNA repair mechanism. Stem cells can repair tissue by replacing the damaged cells. It can't repair individual cells. According to the formula, a high mitotic index indicates a greater number of mitotic cells in the region. The graph shows us that there are fewer mitotic cells as the distance from the root tip increases. A is wrong because it should be zero if there's no dividing cell at all. B is incorrect as the rate decreases when the distance increases. C is the right answer. D is wrong because, at 0.2 mm, the mitotic index was 12. If the total number of cells is 200, there should be 24 mitotic cells. An ATP consists of an adenine base, a ribosugar, and three phosphate groups. The nucleotides of the two strands form complementary base pairs. There are 7 C on 2. There will be 7 G on 1. There are 4 and 5 T's on the strands. This gives us the number of A's. The DNA is 19 base pairs long, so there are 38 nucleotides in total. Minus out of the ones that we have worked out, there are 6 bases left. So, there should be 3 C's on 1 and 3 G's on 2. A is incorrect as the hydrogen bonds are formed due to the structure of the bases. It does not involve an enzymatic reaction. DNA polymerase only moves from the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, so B is wrong and D is correct. C is incorrect because it joins bases on both strands. The anticodon of tRNA is complementary to the codon on mRNA. If the codon is CUA, the anticodon is GAU. A is wrong as the ATP required for the active loading of sucrose is made by the companion cells, not the sieve tube elements. B is incorrect as the xylem vessels have no end walls. C is correct for both cells. D is wrong as sieve tube elements do contain perforated end walls. In the apoplast pathway, water moves in the cell wall. So, the answer is cellulose. Water moves in the cytoplasm in the simplast pathway. They do not move out to the intercellular space between cells. They can move across the tonoplast and enter the vacuole. Water won't be blocked by the membrane. In the apoplast pathway, water moves in the cell wall and the intercellular space. Since they do not enter the cytoplasm, they do not pass through the plasmodesmata. The Casparian strip is made up of suberin, which is hydrophobic. It blocks the movement of water. A glucose molecule contains six carbons. So, six carbon dioxide are needed to make a molecule of glucose. Multiplying 6 carbon dioxide with the 400 molecules of water loss due to each one of them gives us 2,400 in total. Sucrose is a solute. 
When it enters the sieve tube element, it decreases the water potential. This causes water to enter by osmosis down the water potential from the surrounding cells, leading to an increase in the volume of liquid in the sieve tube element. The hydrostatic pressure is high near the source and low near the sink. This pressure gradient causes the mass flow to occur. Since the x-axis should be the independent variable, C is the correct labels that show us the relationship between them. Chloride ions can be found in the plasma, which allows chloride shifts to occur. Carbonic anhydrase is found in the red blood cells and catalyzes the formation and dissociation of carbonic acid. Oxyhemoglobin forms when oxygen binds to hemoglobin, so all three of them are found in the blood. Q has a thick muscular wall and folded tunica intima. It is an artery. P has a thinner wall and smooth tunica intima. It is a vein. So, P carries blood from smaller veins called venules and Q carries blood to the smaller arteries called arterioles. For the system to function, Z should have a higher pressure than W. So, ultrafiltration can occur and force water and some small molecules such as glucose and amino acid to escape the blood vessel into the tissue fluid. This supplies the need of the tissue in the surroundings. Y should have a lower pressure compared to X, so that the waste products produced by the tissue in the tissue fluid would enter the blood vessel and get carried away for excretion. During ventricular systole, blood is pushed into the iota, causing an increase in aortic pressure. So, A is correct. B is wrong, as the AV valve should close to prevent the backflow of blood into the atria. C is wrong, as the semilunar valve are open to allow blood to enter the aorta and pulmonary artery. D is incorrect, as the pressure in the ventricles should increase. The bronchus should contain cartilage plates, which is absent in the photo. So, A and B are wrong. P is the smooth muscle layer of the bronchial. It can contract and relax. This allows the changes in the lumen diameter, regulating the amount of air that can pass through. Let me show you the path taken by the oxygen to enter a red blood cell. There are five membranes to pass through. Cholera vaccine exists and is a way to control the disease. Since it is a waterborne or foodborne disease, B is a correct statement. C is true, as HIV can weaken a person's immune system and increase the risk of other infectious diseases. D is wrong, since cholera is not a vector-borne disease. Plasma B cells are removed from the spleen to be fused with myeloma cells, forming the hybridoma cells. The plasma B cell is a type of lymphocyte. That's all for today. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.